The suspected mastermind of the September 11th terror attacks, along with four other defendants, could escape the death penalty under a plea agreement being considered. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is hearing from family members who are now outraged. Dick. Indeed they are, Christine. The prosecution of the 9-11 defendants at Guantanamo Bay has been delayed for years, but military prosecutors and defense lawyers had begun exploring a negotiated resolution to the case. But a potential deal that's being floated has infuriated some 9-11 family members. Generally, I just think that the consensus is that it's a bad deal. Daniel Bellardinelli lost his uncle William Cashman on Flight 93, which crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania on September 11th. He says the five defendants, including the suspected mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, deserve no mercy. I'm personally a very forgiving person, as, as, as is my family, but their actions are unforgivable. But the Pentagon sent this letter to 9-11 families revealing plea deals are being considered in which the five men would accept criminal responsibility for their actions and plead guilty in exchange for not receiving the death penalty. It's more heartbroken. Kristen Breitweiser's husband Ron died in the World Trade Center and she can't understand why a deal would be offered. I thought I lived in the United States of America. I thought we were a nation based upon the rule of law. And obviously, um, that's turned out not to be the case. The five men have been at Guantanamo in a kind of legal limbo with delays and disputes that have grinded the wheels of justice to a practical halt, in part because the CIA interrogations of the suspects that critics call torture. A lawyer for one of the defendants said last year a plea deal would end the impasse. He is willing to plead guilty, serve a long sentence at Guantanamo in exchange for medical care for his torture and taking the death penalty off the table. But that's not enough for Daniel Bellardinelli when he thinks about the horror of Flight 93. Um, I was supposed to be on the flight. I canceled. And I saw the photo of the field. <laughs> Just made me think, like, oh my God, that's where I could have died. They're taking the death penalty off the table for someone that committed a heinous crime and beyond heinous. These are awful. These aren't, they're, they're not even human, what they did. The Pentagon letters to families say that no plea agreement has been finalized and may never be. The military prosecutors say they will consider the views of family members before they make any final decision. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.